So, good afternoon everyone. Not sure an introduction is really needed as the groom is his own wedding, but it's a good place to start any speech. So, I'm Billy. <laughs> The story begins with a boy and girl growing up in Maidenhead. Although their paths did not cross for years, we're now here to see them wed. This poem is a very short tale of how their love would bloom, and Newland's girl, a Borlase boy, Catherine and Billy are bride and groom. At 17, their fate was set when at Legoland they finally met. <laughs> <laughs> Working together day after day in the Harborside Cafe. Jump forward now to 2014 when a Facebook message was sent. It only had one word, stranger. Catherine was not sure what he meant. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, the date was set, a walk in Braywood Park. Even though it was crafted by Billy's brother Tom, it was clear there was a spark. A few more years of talking and a few more random dates. Catherine's friends were really hoping they'd become more than just mates. Jump forward again to 2016 when a WhatsApp message was sent. This time there were a few more words and she knew what this one meant. Will you be my girlfriend is what the message set, sent, <laughs> said. But Catherine playing hard to get left him a whole day on unread. <laughs> a few years passed and in 2018 they planned to move in together. A happy home in Warfield is where they set up their forever. They love to watch the rugby at a pub with an open fire and of course the beautiful Luna, who we know they both admire. With Sunday walks and lockdown raids, their relationship grew and grew, till December 2020 in the Cotswolds, where he asked her to say, I do. So we've travelled to Bristol to celebrate a match made in the heavens, and later on we'll raise a glass to the new Mr. of the <laughs> Catherine and I met at Legoland working in Harborside Coffee Shop, where we provide weary parents and a much needed caffeine fix for their kids in Green Park. Um, we lost contact for a few years post Legoland before <laughs> reconnecting via Facebook as I struck up conversation with some unreal chat. No shock there, of course. After we moved in together, Catherine started, dro started dropping what I think were subtle hints towards marriage. Saying things like how her ring finger looked there, ordering a ring sizing kit off of Amazon, just in case, and also sent me links to a couple of engagement, engagement rings which were really nice. There's been 31 years of mischief, japes, hijinks, misdemeanours, fights, makeups, and everything in between. And our kid here, he's my best mate. He's a rock, he's been a confidant, and someone whose generosity knows no bounds. And with that in mind, I hope he remembers me at the bar this afternoon. <laughs> Has 
a heart of gold. He's a top, top guy. He's my best friend. Um, and yeah, I kind of wish both him and Catherine the best together moving forward for the rest of their lives. I think they're an amazing couple, as everyone else would agree. In the long term, I look forward to a long, exciting and happy life with you by my side and my wife as you continue to make me laugh, give me perspective and also taking the opportunity to tell me things like how I use the shower curtain incorrectly. <laughs> I decided to pull the trigger during the COVID pandemic, realising that if Catherine can enjoy me in my annoying ways, no respite during lockdown, as I would DJ one man raids and play poker with my friends over Zoom, <laughs> then she can enjoy me for a lifetime. Billy and Catherine, uh, all the best in their married life. Cheers to Billy and Catherine.